Okay, this is the remains of the pallets. I don't even know how many pallets. I think it was uh, somewhere between 12 and 15 pallets. I got them all pulled apart. A lot of them was the first time I had to use a blowtorch to get some of the nails out. I got a lot of a lot of runners for the tabletop. And uh, these slats, I got some very wide, like one inch, three quarter inch, one half inch. Uh, pieces of red oak and I don't know what that's going to become but finally tomorrow I can get all this stuff to the thickness planer and then it will made up with ones that have already been through and we can get started on this tabletop. Man oh man, that's the most pallets I've ever done. So I finally got all the wood for the tabletop through the thickness planer and I was about to clean up all the sides on my vintage Craftsman table saw which I've only had for just a short time and I absolutely love it. Deal off Craigslist. But then I was watching Izzy Swan's video about making your own jointer and it was basically use a router table have one and I got this at a garage sale but it did not really fit with my DeWalt router all the holes didn't match up so I had to drill new holes I think it's gonna work I think four screws is enough now I just gotta put the gate on set everything up and I think we're good to go so this little shield here was pivoting inside, of course it was attached, but it was just really hampering, like it was causing me all kinds of trouble feeding the wood, so I just took it off. It's a safety feature that was actually an inconvenience. So. Finally got all the wood milled up. Well, everything's as straight as it's going to get. So now it's time to actually start cutting. And this is what the tabletop is. I gave them two designs. This is based off of drapes they have, and this is the design that they want. Time to get started.
All right, so I got the tabletop off off the floor onto the woodworking table, and I just got done marking out all the dowel lines. Connect everything together. 